Hey guys, what's up with Jack C and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to install shaders using Iris and Sodium, which is now considered the best way as it uses less resources and just look how beautiful it looks. So you can turn your game into a magical place with lots of shadows and glowing effects and just wow. So let's get on to the tutorial. Okay, so the first thing we want to do is go ahead and open up the browser of our choice. And we want to go to this link here, irishshaders.dev slash download. This link will be in the description down below, so you can click on that. Once you are here, you want to click on download universal jar. Just so click on that and then click save. Now that we have this Iris installer in our downloads, double click on it and it will open up a installer that looks like this. So we want to select our game version. So I'm going to do 1.20.1 because it's the latest version, but you might have a late newer version or you might want to install it on say 1.19. Make sure it's on Iris install, not fabric, because fabric is if you are running other mods, but we just want shaders. So we're doing Iris install and .minecraft should be the directory. Then click install. And just like that, it's complete. So it's a really, really quick process. Now we can go ahead and close that and close this as well. Go ahead and open up your Minecraft launcher, just like this. And then you should see a new sort of tab has been created down here, Iris and Sodium for 1.20.1. So I'm gonna click on that. And once I've clicked on that, I can click play. Now you're gonna get a message like this. Don't worry, this is just because it is modded Minecraft. It's not completely vanilla but you can just click play or you can even hit that so you don't see it again, but up to you. So click play and then it'll have to just install it all and then you'll be good to play Minecraft. Okay, Minecraft is running and if everything has been installed correctly, you should see Minecraft 1.20.1 slash fabric modded down in the corner there. To get to the shaders, we want to go to options, click video settings and go over to shader packs. Now there are a lot of tabs here and all of these tabs have to do with just adjusting the quality and performance to get the smoothest experience. So these allow you to get a nice FPS, um, which is frames per second, so not laggy. And sodium is really great at that, but it's a whole sort of science to get behind it. But if you look it up, there's loads of forums about the best way to get as much out of your Minecraft as you can, because there's lots of options here to mess around with. But we're going to head over to shader packs. Now I have a lot of shaders here. Um, you're not going to have any in this folder, but that's okay. You can easily download and drop them into this folder. One of my favorite shader packs to run is complementary shaders. And you can download this using the link in the description down below. Um, but there are loads of shader packs you can choose from and you can look at those on YouTube by searching on like top 10 shader packs. Let me know if you'd like to see a top 10 of my favorite shader packs. Let's head over to this link here and click download. We're gonna start downloading these complementary shaders and then I'll show you where to drag and drop them in our shaders folder. Okay, so we're going to go back to our Minecraft now. Now I've cleared out all of the old shaders. I've just put them into a one folder here, um, which you can't really um, see, but we're going to go to open shader pack folder and we're going to get something that looks like this. You won't have this one folder here, so don't worry about that. Then we want to open up our downloads folder. Go to downloads here, just like that. Go to complementary shaders and drag and drop it. Now straight away, you can see that I got complementary shaders and it popped up here. Now I can close this down, close this down, and double click on this. And the shaders will be enabled and you can click apply. Just like that, and then done, done. Now you're not gonna notice anything straight away until you load into a world, so let's do that. So I've now loaded into my world and you can see how stunning it is. Everything just glows. And this is the hub of my patron server. Now the patron server is an awesome place to make loads of friends and chat to me and wild. So check out the link in the description down below on how to get access to it. As well as that, we give you custom build, mod and redstone help whenever you need it. So check that out. It really does look gorgeous, doesn't it? Now there are loads of settings and I'll briefly go over how to get to them now, but there are so many to fully dive into them in one video, but you can mess around and play around with them in your own time. So to get to them, press escape, options, video settings, shader packs, and go down here to shader pack settings. Now here we've got a lot. Now we've got some default profiles. So if you're running a slower PC or a I'm not as beefy, you might want to go on potato or low, but I'm running a pretty good PC, but I still want good frame rate, so I might run vanilla. Or if you've got a really good PC, you might run ultra. 
So those are the profiles and those are sort of the presets, but you can go in and change each setting differently, just like this. You can see just by going through all of these, there's shadow distance, there's just so much to go through. But, oops, I just changed my setting to ultra there. But the general um, profiles are pretty good and look fantastic as you can see. So on that note, that's gonna be the end of this video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Please do like, comment, and remember to subscribe if you're new. And if you wanna check out my Patreon, I'd really appreciate that. So I'll see you guys later. And remember, stay carbonated.